de people is um, está saliendo demasiado. There's a lot of people in the street. Yes. Oh yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, you know, uh, people. Some people don't pay attention to the regulations, and that affects. Yes. So everybody's connecting right now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rosario. How are you? I'm uh, excellent. You're excellent. Wow, that's yes. the attitude. That's great. <laughs> yes, because I just got, uh, got to the board. You went to work today? Yes. Oh, that's nice. I like my job. That's good. That's good. And I love my job too. Francisco. Yes. Hello, Francisco. Uh, hi, teacher. How are you today? Um, fine, thank you. How was your um, day, Francisco? My day is so good. Your day is good. Excellent. Did you have to go to work? Yeah. You went to uh, work today? Uh, um, I am a hot uh, with my family. Oh, really? Excellent. So we got here Carolina. Carolina, hello, how are you? Hello. Hi. How are Hi. you today? Hi. I am good. You're good, great. Excellent. Today is hot, isn't it? Yes, very hot. <laughs> what about in your house, Francisco? Is it hot today? Um, yeah, it's a very hot. And you, Erika? It's hot here. <laughs> Where do you live, Erika? Santa Rosa de Lima. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Oh. It's hot. You don't need to say no more. <laughs> Yes. It's pretty hot. You yes. <laughs> you can say it's hot. You can say it's very hot. You can say it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Yes, pretty hot. If you put pretty before an adjective, you means very, very. Oh. Okay. So oh, it's pretty hot. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I, mean, I live in San Martin and I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. What about where you live, Rosario? Is it hot? Uh, a little. A little. What about in your case, Carolina? Hi. How's the weather? It, it's hot. It's hot. Yes. Today is all day has been hot. Yes, all day is it's it, hot, hot. It rained early in the morning. And, yes. And it's still it was hot. And the afternoon. Oh, the afternoon has been terrible. Yes. Ruth, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. Good, we are talking about the weather. Tell me, how's the weather in your house? Here where I live, it's hot. What about you? Uh, uh, it is hot, it's hot. It's hot now. too? Yeah, terrible. Yes. Terrible, terrible. Even though last night it rained a lot. Okay, uh -huh. my uh, last night my, my uh, screen um, freeze. Last oh, really? Night. Yeah, yeah, because of the rain. Yes. Yeah, we have problems with the signal. Just a few could connect yesterday because of the rain. Francisco, yes. you were in the class, no? Yes, you were. Um. Yesterday, no. No? Because no. of the weather. 
I have problem with my connection. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Mr. Mahano, hello. How are you? Ernesto. Good evening. Perhaps he's got problems with the connection that happens. So today, guys, we are going to work with something. We are actually going to continue with the topic from yesterday. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? What was the topic? Demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative adjectives. Okay. Let's make a little review. Demonstrative adjectives. Remember that this singular. These and those, plural. This, singular, and this, plural, for something that is close. That and those for something that is far. Okay? So, in this case, I yesterday I did the example with my markers, and I say, these markers, and I say those markers. Those. I can say this marker and I can say that marker. This. So remember, as I was explaining yesterday, this and these are used for something that is very close, whereas that and those, it's used for something that is far, okay? That was from yesterday's class. Also, remember, we can say this one or that one when we do not want to repeat the noun, okay? We say, this marker is black and this one is blue. Remember, I don't want to repeat the word marker. So I say, this marker is black, this marker is blue, and this other marker is black. Or I can say, this marker is black, this one blue, and this one black. Okay? I can say that these ones, these ones, plural, these ones are my, my, my markers. Okay? That was from yesterday's class. We are going to actually continue working with this one and that one. I sent you to the group the picture of the conversation because when I share the conversation, I think that there are some difficulties for some of you to, to watch it, okay? So, okay. let's see who's connecting. Cesar, hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Cesar? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm just fine. Perfect. Thank you. Linda. Hello, Linda. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm just fine. Thank you. Cesar, tell me, how's the weather in your house? It's uh, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Where do you live, Cesar? I live in Antigua, Cuscatlán. Oh yeah, Antigua is not that hot. Yeah, lucky you. Ask Erica, Cesar. Do me a favor. Could you please ask Erica how's the weather in her house? Erica. Yes. How was your how was the weather 
the weather in the house? Uh, it was uh, very hot. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Francisco, please ask Linda where does she live and how's the weather in this moment? ¿Cómo fue la, la, la pregunta? Two question. Where yeah. does she live and how's the weather? The two questions are this. Look. One question. The live. first one is, where do you live? And the second question is, how is the weather? It's um. A quien me dijo a Linda. Linda. Linda, where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. Um, how is how is the weather? The weather is hot <laughs> in this moment for me. Yeah. Hot in Santa Tecla. Yes. It's hot. No more trees. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, now there's another question. We are going to split in groups. There are three questions that you are going to ask your classmates. Where do you live? How is the weather? Where do you live? And which one do you prefer, hot or cold? We are going to have just two minutes to ask each other, okay? As Francisco did with Linda. Are you ready, guys? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, Perfect. Teacher. Excellent. Jonathan, you need to go to room number five. It's the weather. Mm -hmm. The weather it is, it's, uh, hot, it is hot. It is hot today. Ah, uh, it's hot today. Perfect. Okay. Francisco, uh, where yes. do you live? Hello, Rosario. You alone? Uh, okay, Rosario, I will assign you to group number one, okay? Y, y ya terminó el frío, pero con el calor, Dios me va. With the heat, with the heat. Con with the heat. Yes. With the heat. Yes. Teacher, what do you spell uh, pre, pretty, pretty cold? Como me dijo de primero, más, más caliente que... Oh, pretty hot. Ah, pretty hot. Uh -huh. I already... Ah, pretty. pretty. Yes. 
It's more the very hot. Yes. Okay, I'm gone. Continue. One minute. One, do you prefer hot or cold? Which one do you prefer? Which I one do you prefer? Hot or cold? I prefer cold. Really. <laughs> Me too. Cold, cold. Me too. <laughs> How do you say? Tiene solución y el calor no. It oh. can be solved. What? It can be solved. It can be solved. Then, le pregunto si quiere nuevamente, Reina. Bueno. Where do you live? How are you? Oh, fine. What do you do? Um, questions, yeah, questions. Hello, boys. Questions. Hi. Paul. Good evening. How's the what weather? Do do? I'm just fine, thank you. Tell me, how's the weather in your house? Well, it's the weather. Is it yeah, hot the weather is hot? is hot, hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. And hot, yes. which one do you prefer? Hot or cold? Cold. cold. Oh, me too. Cold. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Everybody loves cold. Okay, yes. one minute. Yes. You go back, okay? Okay. It's everybody here? Yes, I think everybody here. Hola, hello, hola. hello, how are you? I'm fine, hello, teacher. teacher. I'm just fine, I'm just fine. Fine, yes. Excellent. Reina, hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I am fine. Good, great. Tell me, Eduardo. In your house, is it cold or hot? Hot. Well, actually, I think in your house all the time it's hot because he's always on teacher, relaxed. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah, teacher, must... yes? in your house, is rain on nope. your seat? No. Nope. What about yours? Mr. Paul, who are you? Hi, Eduardo. Oh, you had a I think... electricity. Yes, yesterday yeah. Paul had a problem with electricity. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, that's a problem. Oof. Uh, hey, teacher. Okay, guys. Yes, tell me, mister. Um, ¿Cómo era la pronunciación de schedule? ¿Cómo? Así era, schedule. Exactly like that. Schedule. 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 Es que no sé dónde leí esa palabra ahora. Creo que fue en una presentación y yo dije cómo era la pronunciación. Schedule. 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 Ok. Ok, guys. Now, we are going to do something a little bit different today. Oh, we are okay. going to change the, the, the methodology just a little bit. Ok. I want to share something with you so you can watch. And uh, we are going to do a, something slightly different for the practice. Okay. Can you see this page? Practice. Yeah, I can see. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to do something. What about now? It's better? Yes. Okay, now let's see. Today is a beautiful day. Okay, now 
part of the lessons on part of the activities from the platform it says stress did you check that that section in let me see in number in three point something let me see i will tell you right now in 3.6 if i'm not mistaken it talks about stress how to stress words in a in a sentence now do you understand what is the meaning of stress in this context is the pronunciation is the force the force in the word okay oh. so in this case oh. the stress will go to the part of the sentence we are emphasizing okay but there's also the stress in the word like today listen today the stress is here today the part of the word that is stressed, the vowel, in this case, A, goes longer. Listen, today is a beauty, beauty. You see, beauty. Today is a beautiful day. Today is a beautiful day. Now, repeat with me, today. 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 Is, is is a a beautiful 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 day, beautiful day. 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 okay now depending on what you want to stress imagine that i'm talking to you and you ask me uh, how was how was your day teacher and i told you and i tell you oh today was a beautiful day where is the stress in which word listen again today was a beautiful day beauty oh exactly because i wanted to emphasize that my day had been beautiful okay so that's why i say Today was a beautiful day. Is that clear? Yes. Oops, sorry. Today was a beautiful day. Teacher, no sé si yo seré el único, pero solo se ve la pestaña de inicio y la, y la pestañita donde dice grabar y la flechita. No sé si a, a solo a mí me parece. No, solo eso se ve. Solo eso se ve. Oh, really? Sí, sí no se ve la pantalla completa. Es como que se agrandó la pantalla, creo. Let me see. Este, yo creo, aquí se lo puedo mostrar, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. I will, I will change. What about now? Oh, yes. It's perfect. Okay. It's so, perfect. I was telling you, today was a beautiful day. No stress. Today was a beautiful day. The emphasis goes in today. You see? Tomorrow is going to be interesting. You ask me, teacher, what do you have to do tomorrow? And I tell you, oh man, tomorrow is going to be interesting. So in that case, I emphasize tomorrow and interest. You see? So in the words, in the, in the words, you feel it because the vowel goes longer. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Where is the stress in tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. What is the stress in to, in mo, or in ro? Tomorrow. Mo. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Perfect. Tomorrow. Now, listen to this word. Interesting. Interesting. The stress goes here. 
interesting. Some people say interesting and some people will say interesting. But the most common, the most proper is interesting. Okay, interesting. So, tomorrow is going to be interesting. Today was a beautiful day. Depending on what I want to stress, I want to stress the day or I want to stress the verb. Okay? Okay. The stress in the sentences or in the words uh, is mostly a matter of practice. I would advise you to listen to the dialogues and to try to repeat, to pronounce as in the dialogues. That is the best way for you to learn and to listen most appropriately to the stress. As much as you get into the platform, list, watch the videos and pay attention to the dialogues, it's going to help you to improve recognizing how the proper pronunciation goes, okay? As I tell you, it's a matter of practice. So in that case, I'm, going, I'm not going to stay that much in the stress part because as I tell you, it's practice. What you can do is get into the platform, listen to the videos, repeat the videos. But today we are going to watch one of the, to listen to one of the conversations. Did you get the, the message I sent you in the group? The picture of the video? Yes. Okay, because we are going to listen to it right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me see where it is, right here. Okay. I'm just waiting for it to load. It is just loading right now. Just wait a second. Remember, if you don't watch it hit here properly, you can watch it on the WhatsApp group. I send you the picture. What I want you is to listen to the pronunciation, okay? Okay. 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 That's mostly what we are going to focus. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Did you listen to it? Yes. $199. Yes. Oh, Would right. you like to try it on? Just a second. Uh, no. I pause it. Okay, now, listen again. Look. These jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Now, let's see the vocabulary. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one? That expression, which one? 
Do you remember why are we using that word one here? ¿Cuál prefiere? Because we don't want to repeat the word jacket. Right. That is why we are, we are saying which one? Because the word jacket was already said. Okay? That's why Sue says, I like the wool one. Wow. This one refers again to the jacket. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Oh, we are talking about the how it feels, cold or warm. In this case, warmer. Next class, we are going to talk about comparative. We're gonna make comparisons, okay? Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm. There's no price tag. Do you know what is a price tag? Yes. La viñeta de precio. Exactly, perfect, thank you. Then comes the question. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Try it on, probarse. Oh no, that's okay. But thanks, anyway. Now, let's go back to this. Would you like to? Remember the word would. We are going to finish here because I want to emphasize on this. The word would, you see the word? The word would, the L, yes. the letter L before a letter D, no sound. It doesn't have a sound, okay? What do I mean? That when I say cool, when I say should, when I say, uh, in this case, wool, that L doesn't have a sound. Let me explain better for you. I'll show you this. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, we got cool, cool, and wool. The letter L doesn't have a sound, no sound. Listen, could, should, would, would, should, would. Okay? Okay. Am I clear? Yes. Yes. Do you understand? No questions? Yes. Okay, so remember, could, would, should, no sound, okay? I'm just explaining this because that pronunciation sometimes is uh, a little bit difficult. And perhaps some of us will say wool, and wool refers to a fabric, uh, lana. When we say wool, we are referring to lana. But when we want to say the modal, podría, wool, no L, okay? Questions? No. Ver, eh, Las palabras se, se, se pronuncian sin la L o sin la D? No, L. L. The letter L no is sound. the one crossed out. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Another question? Wool. Remember? Wool, should, cool. Okay. Good. 
Cool. The same happens with the letter L before K. Look at this word, walk. Walk. No L. Talk. Yo que siempre le he pronunciado con la L, walk. Así. Ok. No more. <laughs> from no. from walk. now on is walk. Siempre con la K que se pronuncia bastante. Yes. Walk, talk. Ok. Y, para, y talk. 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 Okay. Ah. Interesting, no? Sí. It's good to know. Little details will help you also to stress more properly. Remember, talk. Walk. In English, we have that. That happens to us in some words. Like... Uh, Look at this one. Internet. Internet. Yes. Internet. 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 In this, in this case, the letter T, no sound. No. Internet. In, in, Internet. Mount. Internet. Mount. Oh, okay. Mount. The letter T is very short. Mountain. Mountain. Mount. Mountain. Mountain. Shorter, shorter, shorter. And you see, internet, internet, not T. Beautiful. Question? Questions? Not the chat. Okay, perfect. Now, we are going to do something different. You got, uh, can you access to the, to the script for the audio, for the video that we just saw? Can you see the video? I sent you the image on the phone, on the group. Yes. Okay. Today we are going to do the traditional exercise. I will divide you in groups of three members and you are going to do, to role play the conversation, okay? Okay. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So I'm going to divide you in groups and I will go Group by group, just checking that you do it. This is gonna be short, two or three minutes stops, okay? Okay. 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 Let me see, it's gonna be groups of three members. So I'm going to move Ernesto goes to room two with Erica. And let's see, Paul goes to room two also. I got Brenda, Francisco, and Rosario together, Erika, Ernesto, and Paul, Reina, and Linda, just the two of them, and the last group is Ade, Jonathan, and Luis, okay? Okay. Teacher, is the conversations? Yes, oh. the conversation. Oh, okay. Let's see, Cesar Melchor and Eduardo Flores are not assigned. Let me see, hold on just a second guys. Cesar goes to number four. And Eduardo, you will go to number two. Ernesto, you haven't joined the group. Mr. Ernesto. <laughs> it looks warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more stylish 
that would stylish. want. Stylish. 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 Okay. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's for ninety nine. Could you like to try, try it on? Eduardo, you and me. Okay. You are Annie or Sue? Sue. Sue. Yes. Okay. Looks this jacket are really nice with one. Do you prefer? Which I like. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one do you prefer? Yes. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the latter one better. Uh, it's more stylish than the wool one. Oh. <laughs> Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much this jacket? How much? How much? Look at my mouth. How? 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 It's rounder. How? How? How much? How okay. much? How much? Uh, okay, Eduardo, look at me. Like when you are, like when you are yawning, la. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. How much? How? Like that. How much? Excellent. Okay. How much? It's a uh, forty-nine nine. No. Better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the layer leather. leather. Leather one better. Leather. Leather. Leather, leather one better. It's, it's more, more it's more styling that wool one. Mm, there no price tag. Price tag. Pra come? Price tag. Price tag. There no price tag. Perfect. Excuse me. How much how, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred and ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh mm. no, thanks. Okay. But thanks. It look warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more it's more stylish than the one. Stylish. stylish. The one. one. Uh, mm, there no price tag. 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 Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine dollar. Would you like to try? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. Perfect, guys. In one minute, we go back. Okay. okay. Hoy, Let's see. You did, uh, did all of you do the exercise? You did the pronunciation? Teacher. It's okay. Yes. What yes. does it mean, wool? Wool, lana. Lana. Thank you.
You're welcome. Es la diferencia con el, el would, ¿verdad? Que nos yes. estaba explicando. Okay. Yes, exactly. If you say would, you refer to the fabric. Fabric, and, tela. Okay. In three case, in the pronunciation D, could, should, and would. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. So, you memorize it. That's good. Yeah, those, those little words help a lot. To have them memorized is very good. So, let's see. Erika. Yes. Tell me, Erika, uh, which one would you prefer? Wool or leather? Leather. Oh, you like leather jackets? Yes, leather jacket. Okay, what about you, Jonathan? Which one would you prefer? A wool jacket or a leather jacket? Hello, Jonathan. Perhaps he's not there. Let's see. Paul, so, which one would you prefer, Paul? Leather jacket or wool jacket? Uh, uh, a wool jacket, but I prefer enjoy the cool. <laughs> okay. <Wow. laughs> uh, let's see, um, Cesar, do you have a leather jacket? No, I don't. Oh, what about a wool jacket? Yes, I have one. Oh, really? They are very warm. Yes. Yes. Well, actually, leather jackets under the sun, Look. they are hot. <laughs> yes, I don't use. Yeah, under the sun, wrong. they are hot. We will give one to Erica. Erica needs one because it's very cold where she lives. I don't need jacket. <laughs> you don't need a jacket. I no. don't. Stay with me. I, I don't. I, I don't need a jacket. <laughs> she doesn't need a jacket, she says. Me too. Me too. Me? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's something there, guys. I'm sorry. I was plugging in this. Uh, who said me too? Me too. Ah, I. Look. Oh, me. me. Sorry. Either. Sorry, this is the correct. Me neither. Yes. Me neither. Tampoco. Me neither. 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 Yes. Me neither. In, la, in, in, la te. in this case, in this case, the TH is pronounced as a D in Spanish. Neither. Neither. Ah, Erica, Erica says she doesn't need a wool, uh, leather jacket. Well, she doesn't need no jacket. <laughs> what about you, Rosario? Rosario has been very quiet today. <laughs> Tell me, Rosario, which one do you prefer, leather jackets or wool jackets? I prefer a leather jacket. Really? Yes. Do you have one? Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. Oh, Jonathan is telling me that he has problem with the internet. Did I say it right? Guys, did you listen to my pronunciation? The correct okay. is internet. Remember, internet. 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 Okay, perfect. So, today we vary the, the presentation of the class a little bit. From now on, what I will do whenever I will be like writing or giving an explanation, I will present it as, as I did in the PowerPoint. So you can check the sentences, okay? Do you, do you prefer it like that? Or do you prefer the, just the chat? 
de chat cuando nos manda grupos se borra los que vemos en teléfonos celulares se borra eh, la, lo que usted nos ha puesto okay. eh, los que están en computadora sí lo pueden ver pero nosotros no okay, tenemos then, que tomar un print yeah then I will be careful with that it's good to know because as I am using a computer I don't I don't see it the way you do I watch it differently okay guys now before i mean we still have five minutes but i want to know how are we doing with the platform i know that rosario is very advanced i finished rosario finished already the platform uh, what about the rest supposedly uh, you should just, have, a mí solo me como dos exámenes, creo yo. okay because you should have finished section one and two complete Yes, it's complete. Yes, I finish. Okay. Finish. Yeah. Remember, if you got any question, you can ask me directly. And no problem. You know, the ones who have asked me know that sometimes if I don't answer to you like fast, but I answer. Okay? Like uh, even with Linda, I guess we were working yesterday, didn't we? Sorry? We were working with you yesterday in, on the on the group, no? Uh, no, in the group, no. In the in the WhatsApp group, no. no. But I was working with you privately. Yes. Messages. Yes. So. Yes, yes. You can ask me in the group, or you can ask me privately. No problem. Okay. I can answer. In private. So remember, guys from today okay let's see paul what do you remember from today's class what did we work with paul your microphone <laughs> i remember that the the <laughs> practice the dialogue the dialogue with dialogue Okay. With my and classmate. At the beginning of the class, what did we review, Erika? In this class? Yes, at the, at the very beginning. I reviewed the... The... Uh, this. The stress, the, the, the pronunciation, huh? stress. <laughs> And stress work. Uh, and before that, este es un meme donde aparece la familia. Uh, the demonstrative adjective. Okay, the demonstrative adjectives. Do you remember that? I was yeah, telling yeah. you, remember? These, that, these, those. Yeah, remember this one. one, that one, these ones, those ones. Okay. Yeah. We also work, of course, with the stress. And we did the dialogue. Uh, next class is on Monday. I will try to send you, if not tomorrow, on Saturday, I will try to send you the presentation, the PDF, the presentation in PDF, so you can check the explanation of the comparatives. Okay? Okay. That is going to help you. So in the class, you will have the information beforehand. And that way you won't have trouble like I don't understand. Remember, if you got any question about the explanation, you can do it here in the class and it's even better. If you got any question, it's even better because I can explain for the rest of the class. So let's summarize. Today, demonstrative. Remember, this and, and this for something that is near. That and those for something that is far. Uh -huh. This and that, singular. This and those, plural. Plural. Yeah. plural. We use one for singular, ones for plural. We use one when we have already said the noun. Cuando ya dijimos el nombre. We don't want to repeat. Like, this jacket is leather and this one is wood. 
So I don't say this jacket is leather and this jacket is wool. I say this jacket is leather and this one is wool. You see? So I don't use the word again. Mm -hmm. That's when we use one or ones. Okay? Then en el caso que hubiera dicho una tercera, una tercera, por decirlo así, una tercera prenda oh. que elegí, siempre es this one. This one. marker, this marker is black, this marker is blue, and this marker is black. This marker is black, this one is blue, and this one is black. Oh. Or you can say different, this marker is black, this one is blue, and this other one is black. You see the expression? The one that I used at the end was this other one. You see it in the, can you watch it on the chat? This yes, is the other one. Yes, yes okay. this other one. Perfect. Any question? No. 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 Okay. Guys. It was nice being with you today. Have a good weekend. Uh, I'll see you on Monday. Remember, I always connect before the class. So connect before around 10 or 15 before the class. We can do a small practice, conversation practice. Okay, so if you, okay, have, the time, if you have the time, connect. I'm here always. So we can have a little chat. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you, teacher. So thank you. Okay. Good night. Good 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 night. You have a good night. Good 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 night. night. See you. Take care. Have a nice Take weekend. Care. Have a nice weekend. Yeah. Have a nice weekend.